Uh, welcome to the Modernists. Um, I'm excited and overwhelmed to see all these people who come all around the world to be here and all the new connections and conversations that will take place over the weekend. Um, we have here today there are artists and writers and scholars and doulas and mothers and and uh, a broad range of different backgrounds. Uh, I just want to mention a few practicalities quickly. Um, so, well, at the front there's a little conference table with programs um, and those modernist buttons. You can reserve for tonight's dinner if you haven't done so yet and get a little dinner ticket. Um, which is tonight at my Schoenmutter. Uh, my Schoenmutter is Dutch and means my mother-in-law. And, and uh, behind uh, the, the owner of this place, there's also a beautiful another story of a woman coming uh, from Eritrea to, to Holland and building a life here. So if you have a chance to talk with our guest, uh, our host, uh, Esther, tonight, um, that, that, will, uh, that will open up new, uh, new stories as well. Um, and um, you can also find information about the Mother Voices Foundation at the front um, uh, and you can sign yourself for tomorrow morning we have a performance by the Greek artist Vasily Kisifor Stratodaki and, uh, but you have to sign for this, uh, this uh, there's maybe space for 12 people and tomorrow is Sunday so uh, there's also going to be a round table discussion and I want to say at this point at the roundtable discussion, I have not fixed a, a, a topic per se for it because I very much want to give us this um, space, uh, kind of organic space, where we can just come up with the topics that are urgent for us now. So uh, it's good if, it, if people uh, sign up for this roundtable discussion. And I've left it so that up to midnight tonight, so after our dinner and exhibition opening, you can still, you can still sign, sign up. And also it's meant as a space and a moment where we can just discuss things that maybe come up today during, from the presentation or during the little discussions you have behind the scenes with other people, perhaps about to, uh, the future, how to, now that we are all come together from around the world, how to go forward, how to, how to do these conferences that are now starting to proliferate, uh, all kinds of questions. Um, and... There's a reading table just behind these bookshelves. So there are all kinds of books. Also, Lisa's uh, book, Modernism, is there. There is uh, Terry's uh, performing here. <laughs> Terry's performing Motherhood is there. Uh, there are Demeter Pressey's catalogues. You, um, and uh, Mother Voices Reader. Um, and there are also two doulas who are here the whole day to give us reboso massages. So if you don't know what that is, you can ask them and just, uh, it's there so you can at the same time, you can hear and listen and participate, but be cared and loved for. Um, so that's it. Okay. And, and Leisal is selling refreshments over here. Uh, there is only one toilet. So plan your day well ahead. <laughs> but print room is behind the corner uh, up this street. That we're about 50 meters. They also have a toilet there. So I'm, I'm pretty sure we can also use, use that one there. And at print room, there are more copies of Lisa's uh, book, Modernism. Uh, so once you see it and want to steal it, then I would advise go to print room and you can buy copies there. Um, I think... And of course, tonight there's still an exhibition opening at Upominki at 8 o'clock. So um, I hope you are all there. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to present today, but I wanted to say a few, few thoughts. Um, I was so busy organizing everything, and I wanted to give everybody else a voice. And then I said, okay, may, I, I probably should say something about at least the foundation. So I'm just going to read a bit, which is part of, partly apart from the last column I wrote from Other Voices, and part just some other things, and it's very short. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for your kind note. I won't be able to attend. I have too much on my plate these days, and probably I am not on the mailing list because everyone in the world knows that while I am a caring person, I lack maternality. What is this maternal and maternality that the writer refers to? More so, what is this maternality that everyone in the world knows about? 
who are these knowers and what is this singular maternality that the writer speaks of and that they all know about? The message was sent to me in response to my invitation to attend a reading group where maternal theory was being read alongside some key continental philosophers. Whilst the note was written with warmth and affection, the message itself overwhelmed me, particularly because its writer was a sharp, highly educated, inquisitive mind with many academic accolades and professional successes to her name. It appeared to me that the writer was referring to a personal lack of maternality in the sense that she wouldn't want to mother a child. What stunned me was not her personal choice to not mother a child or having no desire to mother a child. What stunned me was the realization that for me, as someone who has actively engaged in the practice of mothering for more than 18 years, the word maternal and maternality does not at all conjure up images of the maternal in this way. There seemed and of course I might be wrong here, um, to be a huge discrepancy between our understandings of the maternal and its meaning. Whereas the notion of the maternal seemed to conjure up an image for the writer of a woman caring and caring for a child, I saw a potential proposition for new orientation points for our being in the world. Orientation points that do not fall from a fixed center, but rather from human relations held together by an ethos of ultimate hospitality towards the other. So, what then is the maternal? Is it a physical thing? Is it the ability of some bodies to carry and give birth? Is it a concept connecting various notions? Is it a metaphor for something else? Is it a space, an attitude, a practice, a symbol? For me, the maternal has become to symbolize an, a way to deconstruct and rethink existing structures and questions, particularly those related to the notions of hospitality, otherness, economics of exchange, ethics, time, and becoming, to name just a few. In her Modernist Manifesto, Lisa Hallebackerson defines modernism as a political, ethical, and aesthetic position. I quote, uh, co-laboring with the forces and a play in the expanded field of criticality and generosity. For her, modernism is a position from which to challenge the schisms between maternal and the artistic. The manifesto goes on to name more key characteristics of Bakkerson's modernism, but I have picked out these as they resonate most clearly with my own artistic and theoretical thinking on the maternal and the very core principles behind the Mother Voices Foundation or Other Voices Foundation for Art Research Theory, Dialogue and Community Involvement, a foundation which was founded in 2014 and which rose from my own research project entitled Mother Voices, the Maternal as an Attitude, Maternal Thinking and the Production of Time and Knowledge, and was most generously hosted by Vitte de Witt, uh, Center for Contemporary Art between 2013 and 2014. As artists work with signification, coding, and representation, their work can be seen as a site of resonance where signs, relations, and narratives become revealed, deconstructed, constructed, and produced, reproduced. It is this notion of a social, political, and ideological unconsciousness that seeps into being through aesthetic practices and that I, dare say, all the presenters here are interested in understanding and affecting through their very practices as artists, scholars, creative, cultural producers, mothers, and thinkers. So it is with these basic, very basic thoughts and questions that I now wish to open the floor and invite the Danish-born, Chicago-based Lisa Halle Bakkerson, whose wonderful book, Modernism, is sale again at Print Room and visible on, the, on our reading, um, reading table. And after uh, Lisa Krista Donner, the mother mind behind the absolutely amazing cultural reproducers. Please welcome Lisa Halle and Krista Donner. Thank you. <laughs> 